right? Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rukaku Dash, double honor to our apostles and LGMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings, sad taste to the hopeful elect. Out there pushing the word of truth and sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. You know, Shalom to the hopeful elect, the believers that listen and take heed, you know, to this word, man. All right? Uh, and believe the correct doctrine of the scriptures, man. You know? But just as the title of the lesson says, you know, the leaders of this people called them to err, man. You know, and that's always been the problem, you know, within Israel. All right, you have wicked leaders and you have righteous leaders, man. You know, when you go into the Chronicles and the Kings, you know, it'll tell you what's the first thing you say about a king. Either he did right, like his father David, you know, or he did he evil. <laughs> He's evil in the sight of the Lord, man. You see? And it's a lot of wicked leaders that's out here today, man. All right, you have these pork chop pastors, mm -hmm. you have these entertainers, you know, you have uh, uh, niggas within Israel that know they're Israelites, and they're all following their categories, wicked leaders, and they cause our people to err, man, with their leadership and their and their doctrine, man, you know? So we're going to get some precepts, and Lord willing, brothers, supposed to be edified, man. Okay. Go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse uh, 13, or I'll start at uh, uh, 15. The ancient and honorable... He is the head, and the prophet that teaches lies, he is the tail. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Hey, he said the leaders of this people, and this, this people is talking about Israel, man. So-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right? And they cause our people to err, man. You know? They always say, you know, uh, uh, they come, you know, with their own emotions, man. You know, they push a doctrine into their emotions, you know? They push straight lies, man. You know, they're, either they're directly controlled by Esau, you know, and they're forwarding his agenda, you know, or they just self-willed doing their own thing, man, for their own preeminence, man. Yeah. But either way, they cause our people to err, and the people that follow them are, 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 are following a doctrine of destruction, man, yeah. you know. Yeah. They're, they're on the path to destruction, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because cause you, if you're not teaching the 100% truth, then you're leading the people astray, man. Yeah. All right, because if like how I say, if you're not gathering with them, all right, you're, then you're scattering abroad. All right, mm -hmm. so if you're not if you're not teaching the the, the correct doctrine that your house shy, all right, how about shy gave his men, then you know you're you're considered uh, one of those leaders that are uh, causing the people to err, man. Mm -hmm. so, uh, you want me to keep going on that or no? I get okay. Isaiah um, five and thirteen. This is Isaiah five verse thirteen, and it reads: Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Uh, you say my people have gone in captivity because they have no knowledge, all right? And the majority of our people have no understanding of what's really going on, man. You see, they just following anything and anybody, man. You see? And especially within Israel, man. People find out they're Israel, you know, and then they'll find... You know, the worst leaders, man. The Lord will lead them to the worst leaders, man. Yeah, they, they, you know? Jake, Jake, Jake like to be, uh, uh, you know, to follow the people that are giving them good, you know, good, yeah, yeah, good yeah. telling them of good things, you know, smooth yeah. words. Yeah. They don't like the harsh reality because when you come to the true doctrine, you come to the realization that it's not all nice. Right? It's not, uh, uh, you know, cotton candy and, mm -hmm. and hugs and kisses, you know. It's rough and stern, man. But that's why the, the people are uh, allowing themselves to be where is how about you start giving them up to the reprobate mind but what they 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 would rather live in bliss than than in reality man come on. and there was always a common theme within israel man. Mm -hmm. all right our, our leaders you know they would either sell out to the other nations you know and get our people influence our people to do wickedness man you know you read about the uh the kings especially the kings of the uh of the, of the northern, northern kingdom man. You know, how they led the people to idolatry, man. You know, it's the same thing going on today, man. They said the honorable men are famished, man. The people that are, the, 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 the people of our nation that are held in high esteem, that are honored, you know, they ain't got it, man. Your Mayweather, your Jay-Z, your, your Ben Carson, T.D. Jakes, or who, whatever, you know, whoever niggas look up to and pray these rappers, they famished, man, which means they're spiritually dehydrated. They don't have it, man. Exactly. And right, and they're leading uh, our people to uh, a destruction, man. Right, you know, go ahead, a couple bro. precepts. Go I'm going to start at uh, this is Jeremiah 23 in one. I'm going to read a couple precepts and then jump down. 
It says, uh, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, mm -hmm. saith Yahweh. Hey, they destroy mm -hmm. the sheep of the pastor, man. You know? Through what, man? Through their leadership, man. You know? Poor leadership has always been the problem, man. But that's why the Lord is going to make a speedy radiance of a lot of Israelites. That's why I say judgment going to start at the house of Israel, man. At the sanctuary. At the elders. You know, mm -hmm. in, in Ezekiel 9 and 4. Right. Why? All right? Because that's... One of the major problems is these leaders that cause exactly. our people to err, man. You and that's, know? What, that's why the that's why the people err, because the leaders. Mm -hmm. It starts at the top, you know. Mm -hmm. Verse two says, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Al Shai of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. And what are they feeding them? They're feeding you that GMO doctrine that it's not it's there's no nourishment in it. Mm -hmm. Right? There's no uh, uh, benefit from eating that. You know, you can eat that's why you eat today's food and you don't you you still hungry mm -hmm. because you're not getting the nutritional value of it. And that's what these people are feeding them with. That's why they're famished. And it says, Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith Yahweh. The Lord is going to start dealing with these leaders, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be swift judgment coming to a lot of leaders, all right, of Israel, man. You know, whether you know you Israelite or not, man, you all going to be in the same category. The one you know you Israelite, you just going to get beat with many more scraps, man. Yeah. You know, go ahead, bro. And, and those pastors and, and, you know, the whatever in the churches, they know about yeah, Israel because yeah, they yeah. they're told not to teach about it. That's mm -hmm. why they got to get the five hundred one c three. Verse three says, "And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase." That's that remnant that okay. will be delivered, man. You know, but the uh, masses, all right, the leaders and the masses that follow them, they're gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah. You know, but the Lord is gonna uh, extract His remnant. Out of whatever circumstance and situation that they're in, man, they're gonna eventually believe. All right, on your house, shot, they're gonna return, and the Lord is gonna deliver them, man. You know, go ahead. Right, so, I'm gonna read verse four because it goes go with ahead. that famished, how go the people ahead, are famished. Go. And I jump to 11. It says, And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, says Yahweh. Hey, and those shepherds started with the Apostle LGM and their elders, man. Yep. Starting with Elder Abba Bevins, man. Mm -hmm. Those those shepherds that the Most High set up, man. You know, going to Jeremiah 3 and 15. I will give you pastors after my own heart that mm -hmm. shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. All right, that happened with Elder Abba Bivens, you know, uh, 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 Elder Yaqua, King Masha, and it trickled down to our apostles and elders today of GMS, man. Mm -hmm. All right, those the pastor after his own after his own heart, which is his own mind, man. You know that's why they have the hundred percent doctrine, man. You know, leading the flock through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Al Shai. You know, uh, I got one, bro. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and uh, 6. It said, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have called them to go astray. Mm -hmm. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. So through the leaderships, all right, the leaders of Israel, these wicked leaders, our people have gone astray. They into Islam, so all these people that follow uh, 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 Farrakhan and their Islam garbage, man. You know, all the people that follow plantation Christianity and Jesus, man. Egyptology. Egyptology, you know, polite side of the their black consciousness. All those, all those uh, uh, movements have caused our people to be separated further and further from you. How about Shema Al Shai, man? That's right. You know, they, they all, they into all different philosophies and all different things because of, of, of the leaders, man. You know? And uh, it's not, there's not new under the sun, man. Jay been doing that for, since we left Egypt, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, get uh Matthew twenty three, and uh and one, cause you have a shot when he when he came when during his ministry. What was he doing? He was calling out the the leadership. All right, those scribes and Pharisees, man. He was calling them out for being wicked, man. You know, go right, ahead, bro. So Matthew twenty three and one. Then spake Yahweh sight to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, and so that all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works. Hey, Salaki, <laughs> it said they sit in the seat of Moses, mm -hmm. all right, because they was the ones, all right, uh, 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 enforcing the law. Yep. You know, they they was uh, well studying the law, all right. They knew the scriptures, man. You know, so they sit in the seat of Moses, 
you know, but what it's saying, right. bro? And, and they're supposed to be judging, yeah, you know, yeah, Israel, like, yeah, like uh, Moses yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, um, all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, we're speaking about what, the, 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 the commandments, the laws, mm -hmm. you know, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Come on. So do not after their works, because they're hypocrites, man. They say and do not, you know. They they put all their pressure, you know, upon the people, you know. But they wasn't even following it all right correctly, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they was taking bribes to have respect the person, you know, which all it is breaking the commandments of Moses, man. The the commandments that was given to Moses, man. You see, so the Lord was like, look, you know what they say? They talk a good game, you know, and they and they talk right, but their actions is contrary, man. You know, so do what they say. But don't do as they do, man. Exactly. He was attacking the leadership, man. He knew the leadership was off, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why he says, I'm going to get that in Matthew. Um, this is the book of Matthew, chapter, chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 6. It said, but when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted. And was scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Mm -hmm. You know, so your house shot was looking out amongst Israel. You can see him like they threw. They yeah. was under the yeah, Romans. Compassion. Yeah, they ain't no one's really <laughs> leading them. No one's yeah. telling them, you know, how they should be, how they should carry themselves, man. You know? Like the sheep need that's the whole point of the shepherd is to protect the sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure a, a wolf don't come in there and, and kill one sheep, you yeah. know. So have a slaughter fest in there. Yeah. You know, uh uh Take care of them, feed them, you know, make sure they're good. And, and verse 37, then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenty, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that we, he will send forth laborers into his harvest, man. And that's why uh, 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 we constantly, you know, push brothers that listen to eventually start teaching, man. Yep, yep. You know, because we need more laborers out here, man. Because the, uh, the elder Yasha woman just did a lesson going into prepare for a great awakening, yeah. man. You know, so we need more leaders that's prepped and that's uh, uh, ready to teach, man. You know, because the Lord, all right, is molding leaders, all right, to teach our people the knowledge of salvation, man. You see, put put Israel in the right mindset, man. Pre prepare them for the times to come, man. You know, we're supposed to constantly be warning the people. We're supposed to be constantly, all right, what the scriptures say, blesses he that watches in my gate daily. You know, and that's what we're doing, man. You know, he's constantly watching at the gate, man. You know, telling Israel what the real is, whether they hear or forbear, man. All right, whether we be hated or not, man, which we are going to be hated for telling the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's the that's the part of being a righteous leader. How Shah was hated, man, because he was contrary, uh, 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 you know, to the, uh, you know, the popular opinion, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he was going uh, uh, against He's All a right. rebel, so yeah. to say, you know, and the eyes of these people. Come, right? come. You know, he was constantly pushing righteousness, man. He was constantly condemning, you know, but he was constantly exhorting too, talking about okay. the kingdom, okay. you know. So at the end of the day, Israel need righteous leaders, man. That's why the Lord is finna get ready to, to close shop, yeah. all right, on a lot of these guys with these big platforms that are causing our people to go astray, man. Okay. You hey, know? And a good leader is a stern leader, like Yehoshua. He was an austere man. Yeah. Yep. To, to lead look at king david how he was you know mm -hmm. he was a uh, the, you, you gotta have a, a fierce spirit you know so to say to 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 lead the people man you can't be all, all um you know pacified like these pastors man all week you know you gotta be a uh, strong willed man you gotta come in the spirit of your heart by shimmy outside man and, and if, if the man if the lord is a man of war what kind of spirit does he, you think he has man he did, he's not a pushover like they show you know you shy in the movies they try to make him look like you know Hugging his sheep, yeah, you know, that's right. Sheep. Yeah, feeble. Yeah, 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 all feeble, you know, all timid. Nah, man, he was an austere man. He spoke with as one with authority, man. Mm -hmm. And that's how a, a proper leader has to be, you know. Uh, uh, get Isaiah uh, one and and uh, twenty one. Uh, one and twenty one. Yeah, Isaiah one and twenty one. Kind. This is uh, Isaiah one and twenty one. It says. How is the faithful city becoming harlot? How the faithful city become a harlot, man? Talking mm -hmm. about Israel, yep. man. The people, all right. Harlot going after idolatry, man. These other guys, man. Spiritual harlots, man. Go ahead, bro. It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now, murderers, murderers. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know, it was full of judgment, righteousness. You used to lie, Jenny, man. Going back to the time of King David, Solomon, uh, uh you know, Samuel. Mm -hmm. You know, that was all righteous leaders, man. You know, but now murderers <laughs> dwelt in it, man. You know, go ahead, bro. The silvers become dross. They thy wine mixed with water. Hey, the silvers become dross. Thy wine mixed with water. You know, so the precious metal. All right, mm -hmm. Israel went from being precious. All right, to being something unwanted, God, the wine become water. It's the their, their philosophy is yeah. watered down, man. Nobody yeah. wants watered down uh, wine, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. And that's them doctrines, man. Guns, because that true wine is 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 the, is the true doctrine, man. Guns. The ways of the, the Lord. Guns. As a matter of fact, hold it. I'm gonna grab one in Joel and prove about their wine, man. You know, we're just talking about their philosophy, man. Because there was a certain standard and a certain way that Israel was intended to be, that the Lord intended for Israel to be, man. You know, and you have leaders that's rising up through the spirit and power you have by Shema al Shai, they're lifting their standard, their same standard again, man. You know? And it says, uh, this is Joel 3 and 18, and it shall come to pass in that day, all right, this is uh, when the kingdom is being established, that the mountain shall drop down new wine. You see, not the diluted wine, you know, that the, 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 the wicked leaders was pushing to the people, man. You know, they're going to drop that new wine, their uh, refreshed wine, man. You know, and the hills shall flow with milk and all rivers of Judah shall flow with waters and the fountain shall come forth and the house of the Lord, you have by Shemal Shai, and shall water the valley of Shinto, man. You know, so that the true way to be. All right, uh, 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 the standard that the Yahweh Bashim al Shah intended, all right, for us to uphold and how he intended us to live and uh, deal amongst each other, that's what they're gonna be that new wine, man, that's yep. gonna drop down in Zion, man. You know, that's gonna be what Jake like say, drop that word, okay. you know, but that's what's gonna drop down in, in Zion when the kingdom is uh, established, man. But right now, we're in that transition where we're pushing that standard, man, you know, rehearsing those righteous acts, man, mm -hmm. you know, so you're gonna have some leaders. Uh, 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 hey, Shalom, bro. You how about Shima Shah? Uh, Barakata, GMS Flood, the truth. Yeah, my, I'm my, I'm my Yashima, bro. You know, uh, uh, back in, yeah, back in Isaiah 1 and 23. I'll read 22 again. Thy silvers become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Hey, thy princes are rebellious and princes just is a, a, a ruler, man. You know, so the leaders and rulers of our people have become rebellious, man, which they going contrary to you. How about Shem mm -hmm. Al All these mega churches, 20,000 mm -hmm. members, 30,000 members. All and, getting money. Yeah. And, and they're all making our people rebellious, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Telling them uh, telling them to, to go contrary, you know, to, to the Lord, man. Because they're, they're not in there really worshiping the Lord. They're in there doing, doing what they will. And, you know, like the scriptures say, they draw a nine on to me with their mouth. But their heart is far from mm -hmm. it. They say they they follow in the Lord, but they don't they don't do His commandments. Mm -hmm. You know they don't keep His commandments. They don't care about His commandments, man. Come. They want to do what they feel is right in their heart. You know, and they say they become companion of thieves. Thieves, yeah. Who who's a thief? Esau, so called mm -hmm. white man. Five hundred one C three charters. You know, tax free, tax yeah, exemption. Yeah, yeah. you a companion of thieves, mm -hmm. man. You're helping forward the agenda of the so called white man, right. man. And then he, uh, you got the pastor. He got the nicest whip it. He got the Maybach, you know, the, the newest Maybach with this mm -hmm. twinkling star roof, you know, the wine cell, the cooler in the back. Yeah. And meanwhile, the people giving them money, they driving hoopties and shit, you know, if living check to check. <laughs> if they drive, yeah. <laughs> but hey, that's 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 our people for you, man. You know, uh, everyone loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. Hey, everyone loveth gifts and follow after reward, man. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why Esau knows he can always have the leaders of our people in his pocket. Exactly. You know, because Esau has the, this world's goods where he can shower the leaders with gifts. And what the scriptures say, gift the screw of the heart, man, which is your mind. You know, it calls your judgment to be off, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead, bro. It followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth the cost of the widow come unto them. Hey, they judge not the fatherless, and the fatherless represents the elect of Israel, man, and the widows, man, you know? But they judge not them, man, you know, which they don't give them the proper uh, guidance, man, you know? Go ahead. Uh, verse 24, Therefore saith Yahweh, uh, the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, 
the mighty one of Israel. Ah, oh, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies. And these wicked leaders are enemies and adversaries to Yahweh by Shema al -Shai. You know, so he's from the vengeance himself upon these wicked leaders, man. You know, go ahead, bro. Verse 20, what is, uh, 25. And I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy thy tin. So he's going to purge away wickedness out of Israel, mm -hmm. you know, and then also he's going to purge away wickedness out of the elect, yep. you know, and get the uh, impurities out of us, man. Lord willing, we part of no. Go ahead. And I will restore thy judges as at the first. I will restore thy judges as at the first. Mm -hmm. A righteous rulership. Okay. The 144,000 is going to be the governing body under Yahweh Shai, yeah. under King David, that's going to rule in righteousness uh, in the everlasting kingdom, man. Of the Allah Hayyam, man. I mean, Come on. judges, man. Come on. He, he restoring that now, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead, bro. And thy counselors as, the, as at the beginning. And thy counselors as at the beginning. You see? Going back to righteous rulership, man. You know, and that's the that's the big picture, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's why we constantly call out niggas that's going off, man. Exactly. All right, we're gonna constantly call it out, man. We're gonna give a damn. Y'all hating, come together. Fuck that, man. Hey, that that's how, that goes to show you who the real judges are, man. Yep. That the Lord's setting up. <laughs> if you're not if you're not able to, doesn't the scripture say that a, a righteous man shall judge even the smallest matter? You know. We're supposed to be judges of of of, of every every matter, man, mm -hmm. whether greater or, or small, man, and especially when it comes to the doctrine, man. You got we, we got to be defenders of the gospel, not mm -hmm. not pretenders, man. You you're doing this to to have, get friends, you know. Mm -hmm. You know we ain't here to defend how much me outside's word, man. Not our our emotions or feel how we feel. You know, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed, so you know I'm gonna teach this. Nah, man, that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. And we ain't out here for everybody, man. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we everybody ain't out here. that walk by yeah. you trying we to convert. We ain't out here for every nigga and every nigga woman, man. Yep. That ain't what we here for, man. We here for like-minded believers, man. That's going to hear this word and this, this word going to cause them to change, yeah. man. Going to cause them to fear you how by Shema Shah, humble down, come back to the faith in Yahweh Shah, you know, and obedience, man. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you can't follow that program, all right, you will be eradicated, man, you know. And that's, that's, and that's what the scriptures are saying, man, yep. you know, but all this, you know, uh, 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 playing around with Israel, you know, trying to pat them on the back, it's going to be all right. Nah, Israel need correction, man. <laughs> yeah, they need all that right? stern warning. They man. need that stern warning. They need correction, man. Now, we do everything in balance. At the same time, this ain't the time, all right, uh, uh, to be trying to hold Israel hand, man, mm -hmm. you know. They going to get right. They going to die, man, you know. That's the severity of the scriptures, man, you know. Oh, I got one more. Some more. Okay, yeah. come. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, mm -hmm. the faithful city. Hey, the city of righteousness, and it's going to have righteous what? Leadership. Mm -hmm. All right? Beginning with Yahweh Shai. You know? He's the king of righteousness, ain't it, man? You know? Going back to uh, uh, Melchizedek. Yep, yep. Uh, you know? Prince of Peace. Yep. Hey, king of righteousness. Man. As the scriptures say, as the king is, so shall the people be, you know, the mm -hmm. servants over there. Yeah. So if 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 there's a righteous rulership, you know, a righteous structure set in place, then the people are just gonna automatically fall in order, man. Come on. And that's what the Lord's got this he is gonna set up, you know. It's, and, it's, and it's happening before your very eyes, man. You know? I'm gonna get this Psalm 72 on the end of the Alright, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 72. It says, and it says, a song for Solomon. And we understand that Solomon, all right, you have a shower Solomon, all right, in this form of reincarnation. All right, Psalm 72. It said, give the king thy judgments, O power, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and with thy, and, and thy poor with judgment. The mountain shall bring peace to the people, which is the government, and the little hills by righteousness. Mm -hmm. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy. And shall break in pieces the oppressor. Alright. So Yahweh Shah is coming to judge in righteousness. Right. And destroy our enemies man. Mm -hmm. You know. That's why Yahweh Shah is word to be praised man. That's why we go all out. For our king man. Mm -hmm. You know. He come to rule in righteousness man. Ain't no more. He ain't going to be doing no side deals with Esau. You know. With Moab. You know. No, man, he going to judge in, in perfect righteousness, man. You know? And that's what we wait upon, man. You know? That's right. Is there anything? Not that was it. All right, well, with that, you know, we pray you brothers and sisters edified, man, the wise father, Akim, yeah, you know, to tune in, you know, shout one, you know, we got to get to the shot, you know, one of yeah. these days, bro. 
But uh, with that, you know, once again, we'll give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rukaka Dash, double honor to our apostle LGM, Mr. Rule World, teach well being, great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, and salutations to the hopeful lick. Shalom. Shalom.